this time we'll see how we can install a local version of Kubernetes inside of Ubuntu. Canonical is giving us an option called Micro K8S. Um, I find it very powerful and it has uh, almost all the features of uh, a modern uh, Kubernetes uh, distribution. So let's see how we can install it under Ubuntu. It's distributed uh, as a snap, so we can go to our terminal and we can use a snap to install Micro K8S. Uh, we'll use the most recent uh, version and that's why is this flag add. And uh, I have it here already installed. Once it's installed, we can uh, uh, launch uh, the Micro K8S by typing micro ks uh, dot uh, start it will perform its uh, uh, scheduling initialization of uh, different pods and services namespaces also and uh, we'll be able uh, soon uh, to access it as you can see the distribution is also creating uh, new um, network uh, connections and uh, once it started we can inspect the installation so we'll type micro gate s inspect and it will inspect uh, whether the running services are correctly performing. Keep in mind that all those operations might take time depending on your hardware configuration. So we see that we are advised to enable the forwarding uh, rules inside of our um, firewall so we'll do this right now and uh, the other uh, stuff is working correctly key if again we'll uh, type uh, micro k s and then uh, press the tab we see the options uh, we can uh, use inside of uh, this so we can type for example config and this will show us uh, basic information on uh, our cluster uh, so we can uh, access the information via this URL. We also have admin as a username and we can use uh, this for a password. For more verbose output, we can use uh, uh, get all and then all uh, namespaces this uh, command. And uh, actually we can see that uh, we are having uh, here the namespaces, here are the different uh, pods. We have enabled certain uh, services. Uh, so far we have most of them uh, running. Also interesting is that uh, all those uh, pods can be accessed uh, uh, via those IP addresses. And uh, of course we have to uh, use the ports uh, for each of the services. Also we have uh, deployments uh, where all those pods reside and replica sets. All right, um, so let's type uh, micro a status and uh, we see that we have uh, the following add-ons uh, here and some of them are enabled let's see how we can access the dashboard we'll just type uh, micro ks uh, enable and uh, here we'll enable the dashboard uh, then we would like to have a dns and also uh, we would like to enable this uh, metrics server and that's all you need to do and this will apply all the co needed configurations uh, and uh, also set uh, config maps and deployments and run uh, the services uh, into our cluster when everything is enabled we can again check uh, using uh, this command kubectl get all, all namespaces to make sure that uh, our uh, containers and services are available okay let's uh, try to access uh, the main service kubernetes we'll go to this ip address and we see that we are required uh, for a username and password we'll use uh, the username and password uh, from the uh, config uh, command all right we enter inside and we have access to our apis okay let's try to access the dashboard so the dashboard is uh, on this IP address and let's place it here we'll form an HTTPS request and uh, we see your connection is not uh, private advanced proceed and 
we are here inside of the dashboard. Um, for here we will choose to log in via token. Uh, let's see how we can get this token. Okay, we'll use the following command. Keep control with the namespace of uh, cube system. Uh, let's get all the secrets. This will give all the secrets to our different services. We see here controllers. So here we'll see the Kubernetes dashboard, the token, and we would like uh, to get the token for this service. We'll use the same command here, but instead of uh, get secret, we will type uh, describe secrets and then we'll use uh, the name of uh, the service we would like to access. And uh, actually, uh, this is our token. We'll copy the token and we'll enter it inside of the dashboard. When we click on sign in, uh, we see that we are inside of our cluster and here we can uh, inspect further on the things which are happening inside of the cluster. Uh, we see uh, certain events uh, and uh, and uh, we have a visual um, representation of uh, the cluster. If uh, we just would like to stop the cluster, we will just uh, use the same command uh, micro k8s uh, dot uh, stop and uh, this will automatically do the things for us. All right, guys. That was the introduction on how to install Kubernetes locally on OneNote uh, under Ubuntu. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and if you like the information, you can subscribe to the channel.